It's Freedom Files with James Burns. Welcome to the Freedom Files podcast for this Tuesday, October 23rd, 2012. James Burns here giving you my review, my um, lowdown of what transpired in last night's third and final commission on presidential debates between Obama and Romney at Boca Raton, Florida. Uh, it's interesting because uh, they flip-flopped on the ties again. In the first debate, Romney wore a red tie, Obama a blue tie. Then in the second debate, Romney had a blue tie and Obama had a red tie. And then they went back to uh, Obama having a blue tie and Romney having a red tie. I don't know if that's relevant or anything. It was just interesting. The moderator was uh, this CBS guy, uh, Bob Schaefer. They had a sit-down style debate. And I'll go ahead and I'll say some of the good things that happened. Uh, first off, I thought Bob Schaefer did a better job than all the other moderators did. Uh, secondly, he was uh, very even with the time. Obama had 41 minutes, 42 seconds. Romney had 41 minutes, 7 seconds. And the other good thing is that this is the third and final debate and no more between these two clowns. So, anyways, uh, the uh, sit-down debate was over foreign policy. They w talked about the uh, Libya controversy. They talked about the Syrian civil war. They talked about Egypt. They talked about America's red line regarding Israel and Iran. They went over Afghanistan and Pakistan, the rise of China, future challenges, greatest future threats. And there were a couple of zingers at the very beginning. Obama got in some good ones. Romney did as well. Obama came into the third debate way more aggressive, way more focused than he was in the first debate. He had eye contact with, with Romney this time. And uh, he went on the attack with the Mittens. He uh, basically made a good case that Mitt Romney is nothing more than a flip-flopper. And uh, he had some uh, you know, good jabs at Mittens. You know how Mitt likes to talk about how uh, we need a huge uh, fleet with ships and stuff. And, um, of course, Obama, I don't know if he had his uh, staff or his speech writers come up with this one. Or did he uh, brainstorm this one on his own right there on national TV? He talked about how uh, reminding Mitt that we no longer use battleships or horses and bayonets. And we have these things called submarines and aircraft carriers. That was pretty good. And Romney got a couple in on his own. Uh, he uh, basically outed uh, Obama regarding his little hot mic incident with the uh, former Russian president, Medvedev. So the, it went a little back and forth, but then it started getting really, really boring. There was a lot of uh, repeating. They went over some of the same things over and over and over again. At one point, it felt like they were uh, beating a dead horse. Another point, it felt like I was watching a broken record going off again and again and again. And I got to tell you, I may have lasted about 20, 30 minutes in the debate at the most before I started getting sick and tired of watching it. That's one of the big reasons why I'm glad this is the last one between those two puppets, that we're not going to see any more debates between Obama and Romney. Because the truth is, if you watched last night, and you weren't playing the two-party puppet show, you weren't going in it as a Obama supporter or a Romney supporter, if you watched it straight down the middle, like I do, you would have noticed that they repeated each other on a lot of things which shows that these two have a lot more in common than they do differently. Now, there obviously are differences between Romney and Obama, but these two candidates are basically almost identical. Carbon copy clones, as I've mentioned time and time again. And it really doesn't matter if you get Obama for another four years or Romney as president because they're just going to continue the same policies, the same warmongering. That's a big thing that we saw last night, warmongering about Libya, warmongering about Syria, and of course, threatening China. They both threatened China. And to Bob Schaefer's credit, you know, he kind of um, asked Romney the question whenever, once again, Mitt Romney said he was going to label China a currency manipulator, which I think, my opinion about this is, China would not take that so well. And Bob Schaefer's like, well, how are we supposed to have a good relationship with China if you're doing that? And Romney doesn't seem to really understand what's transpiring in China. They don't want us to be strong. They don't want us to have military strength. They want us weak. They want us owing them all this money that we are indebted to them with. They are building up their military. They've built up their army. They're building up their air force. They're building up their navy. They're you know spreading their influence across the world. There, There is no 
illusion here. But unfortunately, Obama and Romney want to play this little game. They want to sit on the fence and say, well, China is an adversary, but they're also a friend. It doesn't work that way. China is not a frenemy. And it's just weird. It's very interesting. Of course, they talked a lot about Israel and about Iran and getting the nuke. Oh, no, how scary. I mean, we have them surrounded with warships and military bases and uh, plenty of nukes on our end to deal with them. And, of course, we were, they were defending Israel left and right. And while I've got nothing against Israel, let's look at this from both sides. You talk about the people, the innocent men, women, and children that have been killed by rockets from Hamas. But what about all the innocent men, women, and children in Gaza or the West Bank that have been killed by Israeli planes, missiles, bombs, troops, and tanks? It's happening on both sides. And I'm sick and tired of these people that say, let's stand with Israel or let's stand with Palestine. No, I, I say we stop the fighting and these two people come to the table and they figure shit out. And we continue to meddle in all these nations, like with Libya, with Egypt, with Iran. Remember what we did back in the 50s? They didn't talk about that. They didn't talk about us overthrowing Mossadegh with the CIA and other intelligence agencies from the West. They didn't talk about how we funded Hussein back in the 80s how we gave him weapons to start a war with the Iranians. They didn't talk about any of our past sins and the reasons why all these countries are pissed off at us. No, they wanted to keep it in the 10-year range because if we were attacked on 9-11 because of this and that. And they don't seem to understand the ideas of cause and effect, the reasons why we are so hated in that part of the world. And it's what we did in Libya, which I would add was not mentioned by Bob Schaefer or o Romney. Obama did not say anything about having uh, congressional consent to go into Libya because he didn't get it. It was completely unconstitutional what he did. And Romney had a perfect opportunity to call him out on it. But he didn't. And you know what? Neither of these two even mentioned the Constitution once. Several people brought that up on Facebook. I'm like, yeah, you guys are right. You're absolutely right. They didn't. And there, there are plenty of examples there. And the same thing with Syria. We're meddling there already. And <laughs> 30,000 people dead. Yeah, Assad's a bad guy. But look at some of the bad shit that the opposition, that the rebels have done. And here's another thing. It's a civil war. Just like Libya was a civil war. None of our fucking business. And pardon my French. I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to watch my language. But anyways, I know it doesn't really matter because it's just words. So if you have a problem with me cussing, well... Sorry. <laughs> this isn't FCC controlled, so I can say whatever the hell I want to say. All right, but that's what I'm saying. These two are so identical that it's it's not even funny. And I just can't believe that there's anybody out there that is... And there are, unfortunately. There's so many people out there. I know them, friends, family members, that are all about Romney, all about Obama. And, of course, they believe Romney won, the Romney peeps, and Obama's folks believe Obama won. But the truth is, it's Alien versus Predator. We all lost. So that was the third and fortunately final commission on presidential debates between Obama and Romney. But tonight, coming up tonight, you're going to get a real debate. It's going to be really good. The free and equal third-party presidential debate, it's happening tonight, starting at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. Going to be moderated by the legendary Larry King. Uh, four great presidential candidates for you to watch. Gary Johnson from the Libertarian Party, Dr. Jill Stein from the Green Party, Virgil Good from the Constitution Party, and Rocky Johnson from the Justice Party. And if you want to know a little bit more about the Justice Party, I did an article about it. It's in the politics section up at freedomfiles.us. Go check it out. And you're probably asking the big question, where can I watch the free and equal third-party presidential debate? Well, there's several options because this thing is getting huge. It's being picked up by several outlets. First off, you can watch it online. If you RSVP, just go to freeandequal.org. That is freeandequal.org. But the even better news is RT's picked it up. So I think you can watch it on their website, rt.com, or perhaps on their YouTube channel as well. Al Jazeera picked it up. A couple others, including... C-SPAN, that's the big one because that means it's going to be on cable. That means it's going to be on satellite. So 
just like with uh, the last couple debates, you're actually going to be able to sit in your dining room or living room or wherever you like to watch TV and actually watch the debate instead of in front of a computer. So that's going to make it even bigger. So it's going to be on C-SPAN as well. And I went to go confirm this. I went to their website. I looked at their schedule. And yes, they will be covering the free and equal third-party presidential debate, which is really cool, happening tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. Be sure and go check it out. It's going to be 90 minutes long, a 90-minute debate. And once again, you can find more information about that at freeandequal.org. And join me Wednesday because I'm going to do a review on the free and equal third-party presidential debate.